Hello viewers far and wide, and welcome to another Elden Ring PvP video. Elden Ring is still a game that some people play sometimes, occasionally in the PvP format. Recently on console as well as on Steam there was a sale, and a lot of the people out here grinding Elden Ring these days don't have a great deal of experience. Which is alright, it's okay. I'm here today to actually help some of you Christmas noobs. You see, after invading a bunch of you guys last week in a fairly short invasion session, I realized that some of these people might need a little bit of assistance. Not by the way of saying they're bad, just by the way of saying that when you're brand new to the game, you're co-oping with your buddy to play what is one of the greatest video games of all time, you might want to learn a few tips and tricks and strategies to beat these awful invaders who are coming into your world trying to screw up your playthrough and make you see the loading screen. So I loaded up my level 40 character just for a few silly invasions. My mage who is also a clown and I decided to try out a few invasions against some of these Christmassy noobs. And I have to say that it was a bit disappointing. I won a lot of my invasions, which, to be frank, I don't normally win like 90% of my invasions, especially when I'm invading at meta, and this is a sign that some of these people need better strategies. So the first tip I want to give you today, if you're new to the game of Elden Ring and co-oping and fighting against invaders, don't fight where the invader wants you to fight. Just in the way that the invader should never fight where the host wants to fight, so should you as the host and as the furled finger avoid these areas of traps that invaders are setting up. It's very easy for me to control the terrain when I just stand out there and wait for the giant ball to come. And Yes it hit me and yes it hit them, but eventually I got a kill from it. Leading to a nice fancy finish with the gravity stone fan on that host. So just be careful when the invader is using environmental traps and other such nonsense. Be careful to always guard your grill. Don't go into the trap that the invader wants you to go into. This next invasion looks like a pretty honest group. They're out here in the they're out here in the fields fighting some bats on the Weeping Peninsula and they seem pretty thirsty, which is good. I mean, it's good to attack an invader, and it's good to uh, get in there and mix it up. Have a little Donnybrook, but one thing I have to recommend to most of you co-opers out there who are trying the game for the first time, you may want to try a strategy of either frontally assaulting the invader as a group, or... If you're not going to do that, have the people standing back spam. As an invader, I'm using this area in the Witchbane Runes to try to separate these different co-opers, lead them into some pitfalls where I can trap them with Waves of Darkness, and just generally make this situation a little bit tougher for them because they are a group of three. And one of the cardinal rules as an invader is when there's a group of three, you always want to try to separate them and apply your advantage in a 1v1 or a 1v2 scenario. So for these people, they were fairly aggressive, but really not quite aggressive enough. I'm able to exploit the fact that I split them up. And while this guy likes the quick step, unfortunately he's using it to take advantage of some low vigor. So this is a pretty easy invasion to win. I thought that the other guy was the host, but uh, looks like that was the W for me. I also want to give you people the tip of learning your weapons and ashes of war. Learn when to properly trade. In this invasion, we have a very sort of classic, you know, honest host with a big badass Vike Spear user who apparently just instantly madness proc me. Uh, I didn't actually switch to the charm this invasion. I just thought I could probably do enough damage trading, and it appears as though this uh, furled finger doesn't have a ton of damage, so I get a couple of unfortunate cannon whiffs here, and keep in mind as an invader, running back to PvE is great, 
if you'll notice, I have this blue lightning ball in the background, so I can always plan on running to that blue lightning ball if I'm really, really feeling pressured by these guys. So I missed the roll catch there. And basically, in a 1v2 scenario, if you're a co-oper, you want to stay pretty persistent on the invader. One thing about this host is that he does seem pretty active, but doesn't really understand how to aggress me properly. And I know that this person is gonna, just going to spam this, so I dare them to trade, and I win the trade there. Pretty sweet looking kill. And then, you know, when it's an experienced invader against a relatively inexperienced host, the host has to be very, very careful. And so I would say that, you know, in this situation, a lot of the people who run away from the invader, I don't like it when they do that, but it might be the correct move if you are not the most experienced player. The next rule of thumb I'd like to discuss is understand your poise levels. A lot of the time, depending on the weapon that the invader has, they might be able to completely stun lock you. And in this case, the person who's using the two great swords to do the jumping attacks doesn't have 88 poise to take the second hit of my Shamshir, and I'm going to use this knowledge to the best of my ability. So, you know, if you are co-oping and you're running through the game or you're just trying to do a sweet little baby gank like these guys are doing, be aware that if your opponent has a weapon like a Shamshir, a thrusting sword, fists, or basically any of the weapons that I like to use to chase down co-opers in this game, you want to be careful and be able to count your poise or recognize that if you get hit, you will be stunned. And I just break up the star fist to finish this guy. And yeah, it's pretty nice to invade uh, at a lower level sometimes gives you a little bit of variety, and the honesty of these groups can really be quite charming at times. Last invasion here is in Shofra River, and we've got a great group of three players here. They're grinding it out against all of the claymen in the world. And this invasion is going to teach us that we need to be persistent. I get very lucky in this invasion. This co-oper with the uh, pirate outfit has quite a decent damage setup. I don't know what level they are. I'm guessing they're fairly high level and I'm having a bit of trouble keeping the damage off because they have a pretty intimidating setup with the power stance curve swords and the Stormblade Ash of War available with the frost buildup leading to quite a lot of damage. And in this situation, I really just have to greed for the hits on the co oper there. And Weaves of Darkness connects for a nice and flashy kill. I, I changed up to my cool Celebrant Skull setup here. Uh, mostly because I'm thinking, although they've been doing a good job of avoiding Waves of Darkness, I think that they might try to trade into this. So I just reaction trade there and the Stormcaller combos into a bubble. <laughs> Uh, GG's. And the very last lesson of the day that I want to try to teach you people who may be a little new to the game, coming into the game from Christmas, you got the Christmas present from Santa, you love playing Elden Ring, and that lesson is pay attention to the invader. When you are soloing against an invader, I do not highly recommend going up to pick up an item and casually turning your back to the bad red person who is in your world. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this short little tutorial and stick around. Like and subscribe for more Elden Ring PvP content.